the hawk are you? Welcome to Rollerland. Yeah, we got some disco music going on here today. <laughs> hey, welcome, welcome. This is your friend Dano. This is the channel that is uh, all about anything and everything Land Rover. And today we're going to be talking about Heller uh, model kits. Okay, if you remember, sorry for the glare there. Uh, if you remember, I did a video on this already. We'll probably tag that at the end. The Click Clack Heller Jr. And it was all plastic wrapped and uh, all sealed up and everything. So uh, we have already looked at that. So I have another one. I found my uh, box. I've been unboxing uh, all my uh, collection. And I found uh, another, uh, yeah, another one. Here we go. This is a 143rd Land Rover 109 by Heller Humbrel. And uh, yeah, it, interesting little uh, uh, kit there. And uh, yeah, really kind of cool. So we're just going to take a look at the box around here. Now this is... Uh, Kit number 8179. 8179. So let's talk about this while we're looking at the box, okay? So originally this came out, and I got my uh, sources from Scale Mates, like I mighty, uh, scalemates.com, okay? So check that out, scalemates.com. Um, in 1979 or 1980 was the first release that um, Heller produced this particular model, okay? The first release, it was in 1979, 1980, okay? The second time it came out um, was in 1980... And it was uh, this one here particularly, 1980, this one came out kind of in a new box, they call it. And uh, then in the third release was 1981, kind of a different kind of box again. Um, uh, the first time it was released, it was just Heller. The second and third time, uh, well, it's, I'm sorry, the second time it was the Heller Hombro, like this one here. This is the second release. The third time, it was just by the Hombro. Okay, and it was um, number HK43002. Okay, and that was in uh, 1981. Uh, the fourth release, they went back to the Heller Hombro um, in 1982, and it kind of went back to the same but it was 80151 instead of the 179, okay? So a uh, little bit of difference going on there. After that, uh, the fifth time, it went back to having the, uh, the name again on it. And it was in 1993, oh, excuse me, 1983. And it was uh, kind of this model number again, 80. 179 but it was a rally and that really looked cool i'd like to get my hands on that 1983 they did a rally one uh cars facing the other way on that one so really kind of cool after that then this casting or this this mold got sold to airflex air fix excuse me air fix and uh the 1999 they did a startup kit one, um, well, no, 1998, excuse me, 1998, they did uh, Airfix, did a 10400. Then the next year, 1999, they did a starter kit, which was a uh, 91411, which came with the glue and paint brushes on the top here, you know. And it was an extra bulky packaging. Then after that, it was kind of the same thing. We went back to just Heller, uh, 1990-something. Um, 
80151, uh, 2000-something. It was a new box again. They kind of repackaged it. Heller with the 80151 again. And then 2002, they had a rapid kit, which is again, but it, it was uh, Heller, and it was called Rapid Kit. It had named Rapid Kit up here. And, uh, you know, I should really have pictures for you, but I don't. But Google, just Google, uh, Google this, Heller Humbrol, uh 142nd, and, and you go to uh, Scale Mates. That's uh, kind of the one. That, but anyway, Rapid uh, Kit came out in 2000-something. Came with the glue and the paint again, Heller. That was number 710. Three, eight, and then uh, then the last time it was released was a construction kit, like a plastic uh, carrying case, 2016, uh, by Heller. 6151 was it, and construction, or kit constructor was the name, but it was a bigger plastic thing. But anyway, all right, now you know a little bit of the history. This one is 8179, all right, let's get... <laughs> <laughs> Let's open it up, Dano. Come on. We're already five into it, so you guys have probably left already. Because Here we go. We're going to open this up. This is not sealed or anything, so we're going to open it up. Uh, pretty good shape, anyway, the box is. And uh, so, yeah, so let's open it up. Let's see what we got. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my shabam. Woo! Cheese balls. That's green. <laughs> that is green. Holy God, I don't remember that being such a colorful car. All right, so, uh, whoa, here are the instructions. Uh, let's get them right side up first here. Uh, so here are the instructions. Uh, I don't know why that says uh, 88,000 here, but uh, nice little instructions. Uh, English and all the other languages. Look at how many languages they got on there. Holy cow. Um, but, uh, yeah, so if you want to freeze that you can kind of see oh they give you a little diagram of um, all the color tones and and color names and of the paint and stuff I guess they had a paint line um, so here you go Land Rover we'll zoom in here on the on the top very very nice for over more ah. After more than 30 years on the market, over a million vehicles sold, Land Rover was proved itself to be an outstanding multi-purpose vehicle of our time. There's some little information on it, all, all in different languages. So yeah, if you want to take a pause and you can read that stuff, that's pretty cool. I am not going to try reading that because I am not good at uh, foreign languages, let alone... Um, the English language. I know two languages, English and bad English. So there you go. So here's the uh, breakdown of uh, the uh, the instructions. Instructions, more instructions. There you go. Are you guys tired of this? Yeah, let's get on to it. Holy cow, I can't believe it. Look at how bright this is. This is just, uh, wow. Wowzer. Wowzer, wowzer. That is quite an interesting little <laughs> bright green. Oh my goodness, that is a green right there. All right, I'm gonna get my uh, ruler out here so we kind of measure out uh, kind of how big this little bugger is. So almost four inches long, yeah. And uh, let's see how uh, wide he is here. So uh, that would, oh, 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 I don't wanna drop it. You know, I'm good at dropping stuff. Uh, about an inch and a half wide. Yeah. Do you want me to flip that over? Oh, okay. Let's flip it over. I got a fancy one. So you can get it in uh, centimeters. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Cool. So almost 10 centimeters. Wow. All right. I just can't believe that. <laughs> that, that is um, neither Land Rover Bronze Green uh, British Racing Green from Jaguar. That is just green. Wow. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in so it kind of stays a little bit focused. But very, very nice details on there. Uh, very, very cool. The vent 
on the side wing there. Yeah, very, very nice. Kind of show that reflection. It, it does have the uh, safari roof uh, kind of built in there. So that's kind of, that's kind of really kind of cool, isn't it? I like that. But door handles and all that. Vents up front. Very, very nice. Very nice bodywork. So there we go. So that's the that's the bodywork. Let's take a look at the rest of the trees here. Uh, sprigs. And uh, so here's the floor and the green wheels. Oh my goodness gracious. Come on, let's get into focus here, huh? Man. Uh, I guess I got to zoom in so it can get to, to focusing here, huh? Oh, that's, uh, that's upside down. <laughs> so we got a Series 3 there, grill. Yep. Little dash dashboard going there. And there's the wheels. Boy, they don't look like they got any tread whatsoever or anything. Boy, those are just round discs. There's the floor pan. It likes looking in the background there. Sorry about that. All right, so that is, uh, let's see, it says there, 179 Land Rover. All right, first sprig. Let's see, okay, we got a glass sprig there. And uh, here's, here's the second one. Here's the back door. Really kind of cool. Got some nice details there. Undercarriage. Oh, yeah, look at there. Nah, that is really good depiction of the undercarriage. Offset pumpkins, yep. Got the uh, brake off the transfer box. Transfer case there. Sand, we got some seats, we got a middle seat, we got steering wheel, uh, the back, back rest to the back seats. And then we got the clear glass. Let's take a look at the clear glass for a minute here. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, headlights. Looks like the headlights there, yeah. So there you go. Oh, and it uh, has, look, check this out. I still have this bugger in there. Oh, it's stuck. Look at that. Nice. Nice couple of decals still. That is sweet. All right, well, there you go. Do you have such a thing? This is awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is the only one I've got. So we are not going to be uh, opening or uh, putting this one together anytime soon. No, we are not. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, very kind of cool. Do you have any of these? Hey, I know some of you have put these together because they're more popular uh, uh, elsewhere than here. That's for sure. So, um, man, show me yours. You know where you can show me yours? Go to Facebook. I'm going to post this on Facebook, Roverland. Go over there to Facebook and post me your, uh, finished one. Maybe I'll get inspired and do my own, huh? Uh, Instagram, show me up there at Roverland channel. All right. Oh my goodness, what a cool thing. So these are the only two Heller uh, kits that I've got, so there we go. All right, thank you for show, uh, staying with me. Come on over, make sure you give me a big thumbs up here, subscribe, and uh, yeah, like and share. Awesome. All right, I'm out of here. Thank you very much for joining me at Roverland. And remember... Slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.